Hello! In this tutorial, we'll be learning all about JavaScript scope. Scope is a means of controlling where certain variables can be accessed. Without scope, there would be no way of keeping variables hidden or preventing other users from accessing variables that were meant to be internal. Let's explore scope. To code along at home, open Google Chrome and go to the web page about colon blank. This will open up a blank web page for us to code in. Now, to open your developer tools, press Control Shift I on a PC or Command Option I on the Mac. In your developer tools, go to the Console tab. This will allow us to write some JavaScript. The first scope is called the Global Scope. So, Global Scope is available anywhere. And if I just define a variable just like this, I'll say var my var equals blue. If I type my var, I get blue. If I create a new function, and I'll just call this function test, and I say console.log my var, and I call test, it logs blue. When a new function is created, the global scope is inserted into that function, and a copy of that scope becomes the function scope. If I redefine a variable that's been defined in the global scope in a function, so we'll say define a new function, we'll call this test as well, and we'll say my var equals red. So if we call test and then call my var, we see my var has been changed to red. That is because variables can be changed from anywhere if they're in the global scope. This is one of the reasons why using the global scope is meant to be avoided. Now, in my function that I defined earlier, if I use the word var before my var and I redefine it again, I'll just say green, and in the function I console log my var, and now I call the function it logs green, but if I call my var outside of the function, it returns red. Why is that? A new scope was created when the function was created, and when I called var my var equals green, that told the function to create a new variable. Variables inside functions can have the same name as variables on the global scope. Those variables are not overwritten if a new function is defined. Now let's try this again. Let's make a new function and we'll call it test2. Inside this function, we'll define a variable. We'll say var um, color equals orange. Now we'll console.log the color. Call the test2 and it logs orange. Now let's go back to test2 and we'll define the variable inside another function. So we'll just define this function, call it inner, and copy the var color equals orange into this function. So now the color has been defined in an inner function. If I call test2, it says color is not defined. That's because the outer function does not have access to the variable color. This is a broad overview of scopes, and I encourage you to look into them farther. But a basic summary is that scopes inside functions are hidden from other functions and the global or window scope. It is called the window scope because if I type window, functions I've defined with just the word var, not inside another function, are available on the object window. The last type of scope is eval scope. So if I type eval and just pass in some, a statement, a new scope was created. If I run eval and I return a variable that's in the global scope, I will be able to access it because a copy of the global or window scope was injected into eval. The eval scope has some special properties meant for security. Generally, since you should use eval only during extreme circumstances, the eval scope is not as important as function or window scope. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about JavaScript scope, and I hope your understanding has improved. 